The Federal Reserve raised interest rates again today. And while the goal is to rein inflation in, it means you'll be paying more for credit cards and mortgage rates. Rush 2's Kelsey Thord spoke with a local realtor about what this could mean for our housing market. Chris Cregan is a local broker and owner of his own real estate firm, Cregan Group. Chris told me he's not too worried about the impact the Federal Reserve's latest interest rate hike will have on Orlando's housing market. So I think we will see rates come up a bit, but probably not as much as people think. Chris says the housing market has been out of whack since the pandemic, when interest rates dropped to all-time lows. He believes the Fed's rate increase was needed, but wishes they didn't wait so long to do it. Did it need to be done? Yes. Did it have to happen all at once uh, in two years? No. Um, but I think rates are kind of where they should be. Chris told me that the Orlando market is a little bit unique because demand here is always high, but he says the rise in interest rates could actually lower housing prices, and that could actually benefit home buyers in the long run. So if you lock in the rate now and they go back down, you can refinance later on and grab the new interest rate without the prices, you're not paying the top dollar prices. Chris says he does worry the Fed is going too far too fast, but says even if the economy takes a downturn, he doesn't believe it will be anywhere close to the crash of 2008. Uh, I'd be very surprised if we saw anything anywhere remotely near that, but is it going to affect the overall economy? I think it will. So what should people do? Chris says even with the higher rates, now is still a good time to buy a house. It is going to be cheaper to purchase a home now, even with the higher interest rates, because you can always refinance down the road and the rents are going to keep going up. In Orange County, Kelsey Thord, WESH 2 News.